An army of volunteers were out again today. They are looking for Tyler Goodrich. The 35 year old disappeared one week ago today from his home here in Lincoln. Channel 8's Veronica Barreto was out there this morning with them. She talked to family and friends. More than 60 people gathered this morning at the Good Life Fitness Center near Van Dorn Street and South First Street. All of them are volunteers and they've been searching today these trails that you see behind me and this land near this area. On Friday, family members and volunteers were out at Wilderness Park looking for any clues. They are going basically in groups of five with a team leader at this point. Uh, all the teams are kind of conversed on a certain area that they're working. Everybody knows that area. Everybody's in radio contact. Officials with Lincoln Parks and Recreation were also volunteering by guiding others in the search. Tyler's family says they're beyond grateful to all those who are helping in finding him. From the depths of everyone's hearts, thank you so much for stepping and going above and beyond your everyday activities to help our family find Tyler. Tyler has been missing since last Friday. Officials were called to his house near Southwest 12th and Burnham Streets on a domestic disturbance call. The Lancaster County Sheriff's Office has been searching many areas as well, including with special drones. The family says that there is a Facebook page for those who want to help in the search. It's called Let's Find Tyler Goodrich. Um, you can request to be a part of the group and we have daily updates. Um, all of our searches that we conduct, whether they're organized or not through an organized event, um, are, are posted. Organizers ask those who join the Facebook group to be respectful to all the group members and the family. Anyone with information is asked to contact local authorities and the Lancaster County Sheriff's Office. We have all the information on our website, calknTV.com. Reporting in Lincoln, Veronica Barreto, Channel 8 News.